That's right, we're in Chicago. Now we got an hour drive. Here it is. First things first, we're gonna pop the hood. How you like that? Yellow motor. We'll get her warmed up and see what uh see what it does here. Seven hundred fourteen thousand miles. So in the spec or in the picture said 268 inch wheelbase I think it is a little bit longer than that I think it's more like a 280 kind of hoping for a little shorter wheelbase uh, obviously you got a little bit of rust here this is not the cleanest glider I saw but it is uh, by far not the worst kind of inspecting uh, checking for any cracks just anything where bushings things like that just checking and making sure that everything is is legit all right guys i'm gonna be honest with you here this truck is it's a 2016 glider right cat but other than that like i know what it is right it's a truck it's all the suspension i'm familiar with the engine i'm familiar with but the big key here is the engine it's got 700,000 miles on they said it went it was one through around 500,000, but no paperwork all right, they bought a lot of, they, they know where it came from. Uh, they have a relationship with those guys. And I don't know. I'm gonna take it on a test drive. I wanna try to warm it up, see if there's any blow by. What I'm getting at is this engine is it, a gamble. It's a $30,000, $35,000 gamble, really. We just don't know what it's, what it is. I bought in trucks where you get them and you run them for Four, five, six, seven hundred thousand miles, and you have no issues. And the next one, you know, within a year, you got to rebuild. I try to, you know, look through as best we can. As far as the specs of this truck, it's it's pretty much like it's a full gauge package. It's 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 set up pretty nice. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie. It's definitely set up pretty nice. Black interior, black and gray, uh, seventy-two inch with a fridge down there, carpet floor, which is not anything exotic. I'd rather not have carpet for what we do, but we're going to take it on a spin, a little test drive here, and uh, see what we think. So we're going to see what color this truck actually is. Check this out. Looks like frame is black, exterior cab, Sierra, no. Cirrus white. So it's like an off white. Let's go see what we can work out. It does have a little bit of cosmetic damage there. Obviously, we get this thing back. It's going to need a bumper. It's going to need a couple things. Actually, the bumper's probably good, but it is it is tweaked just a tick. Obviously, we're going to have to put a wet line on this truck. The engine fan doesn't shut off, which it could mean a couple different things. Uh, maybe the Freon level wasn't quite right. Uh, bad fan clutch, bad switch. I don't know. It's one of these things you spend a lot of money. I'm torn. <laughs> but though on the flip side, I do look at what we're coming out of. On that side of it, I feel okay because we are getting rid of, I, I say a headache. It's, it hasn't been a headache, but it's definitely a troublemaker in the works. I just don't want to have emission motors getting old in upstate New York with the rust and things that we got going on. You know, this truck's definitely going to need some work, get it back, do a little bit of paint work to it. But for the most part, we're, we're going to start with is this, we're going to try to get this truck rolling as quick as we can. Driving it down the road, there's obviously a few rattles here and there, but it's fairly tight and the transmission's tight. It's got good power. I'm 
going to say it's a 550. It feels like a 550. Oh, uh, that's something that I do want to check out because horsepower kills engines. Horsepower builds heat and horsepower kills engines. Engine is a 5EK cat. Uh, it's a 13 speed transmission, 336 ratio. So going down the road, it's just, you know, you're idling along. So really for what we do, it's, it's pretty good. Other specs, I mean, it's a full gauge package. It's it's set up fairly nice. Split windshield, which is very key. I like that. Aero cab flat top, 72 inch. I don't know what other specs you're looking for, guys, but I'm gonna go in. We're gonna see what we can work out. It's it, definitely a couple things that I wish, like the fan clutch, I wish would be working. See what happens here. I do want to check the fuel tanks. It's definitely got fuel in there. When I was test driving it, the fuel light came on. I'm like, that's weird. And it shows like close to between quarter and a half. And these are massive tanks. Oh yeah. All right, as I said, guys, I uh, made a deal on the Kenworth and I'm here with Vince. Here's How's it going, everybody? My name is Vince. I uh, sales manager here at Illinois Truck Group. We are a used truck dealership just outside of Chicago, a couple hours west. Um, so we started off doing just small little day cabs, tandem axle day cabs. Um, now at any given point, we've got almost 100 trucks for sale. We do uh, heavy spec, four axle, you know, airlift axle trucks. We do, we love gliders. We got a lot of gliders on hand. Uh, we have custom, uh, custom colors. We do all different kinds of stuff here. Um, you know, we love our big heavy trucks, but you know, we sell it to a lot of farmers, a lot of, you know, small day cabs. Um, if anybody out there is looking, we, uh, we offer delivery. We deliver around the country. Um, and we, we really specialize in a lot of clean, uh, low mileage inventory. So, yeah. So I was, uh, I was poking around their inventory. They got a lot of trucks here and there's quite a few trucks that are very clean. Actually, some that are new. You said you got a 23 out there? Yeah, we got a couple of brand new 23 four axles. Um, we got a couple of 23 uh, tandem trucks. Um, once in a while we come across some new ones. So yeah, yeah. yeah. So right out front, you got a whole bunch of like, uh, with the heavy haulers? Yeah, the, yeah, a lot of heavy stuff. spec stuff, yeah. Those trucks are not cheap. <laughs> yeah, a lot of construction companies, you know, agriculture, um, a lot of wind energy, but you know, it does is heavy hauls. So. Is that a common thing out here for a, a steerable lift? Not out here, no. <laughs> we, that we get them, we buy them from all around the country. So that's a, steerable lift axle is an East Coast thing. You, yeah. you see a lot of steerable lift axles yeah. off the East Coast. Where do a lot of your trucks come from? Where are they? Uh, we, we like to buy Southern, you know, obviously for, for weather and salt, uh, rust reasons, but, um, we do a little bit of everything as long as it's clean and it meets our standards. So the truck that we're getting, like I said, it's basically, it's a cat motor, 13 speed transmission, you know, it's going to fit well in our fleet. And I, from what, 12 hours away and, yeah. and came out here and I, and I think you guys know that I'll go pretty much anywhere to pick up a nice clean truck. And, you know, I can tell this truck hasn't been mm -hmm. from the South, yep. but it's been maintained or taken yeah. care of yeah. to a certain extent. Yeah. Uh, but buying a used truck, you just never know. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And some yeah. of the guys that put gliders together back in the day didn't mm -hmm. do a good job. Some right. guys did. You just, yep. it's, it's a gamble. Um, so, well, thanks a lot yeah, of for uh, taking of care of me here. And, uh, yeah, we're gonna yeah. see if we can make it back Sweet. home. You got it. Touch. Take care. All right, thank you. We're gonna poke around at some of these other trucks. One thing for certain, these guys got a lot of nice trucks. Got a bunch of heavy haulers here. Like pretty much every single one of these are tri axles or got a lift axle, steerable lift, the whole way down through here. This is the other glider they have. It's got a Detroit in it. Not bad. Uh, just not too fond of the color. Definitely purple. This truck is uh, looking fairly clean, actually. Yeah, not bad. Got a whole row of 990s here. 
That almost looks like Canyon Blue. That's a nice truck. They got two more gliders down here on the end I want to check out. So when you're buying a truck, right, you're buying a used truck, or if you want to know, if you're looking at trucks and you want to know real quick if it's an emission motor, one of the things that I look for is a death tank or I look at the exhaust. So, like this, this one, you see the def tank right there, and the exhaust, they usually put a little different exhaust in there. So this one right here is an older one, but I guarantee there's not going to be a def tank over here. Yep, correct. Uh, this is actually a glider, I think. So, look at this one. A little rustier that's not good it's got a cat motor though and uh, another thing with the exhaust right look at this one see the black exhaust up there so more than likely this is only they're only utilizing one exhaust the one the exhaust to the right is dead and no exhaust that comes out of there it's just the one on the passenger side that comes out we have a day cab like that um but i may be wrong they might have just changed out the pipe which is what it looks like because it's actually wide off so These are beautiful trucks. So the kind of the negative thing with these is they do have the N14 Cummins five and a quarter, but they're gliders. So that means I can still swap out the motor if I needed to down the road they look fairly clean uh, yeah definitely been in the north where that paint is peeled off they have around 400,000 miles on definitely don't paint trucks like they used to that's for sure these do have disc brakes, which is a plus. So actually, I think that silver one that uh, I picked out looks about the cleanest. Frame-wise, anyway, it looks the cleanest. All right, I'm going to leave those trucks go. There are a bit more money oh you got the light on in this one cowboy it's gonna run that battery dead oh it's locked too you really in uh in comparing all these trucks i think i'd go with the silver one Anyway, it does concern me a little bit because it does have a little bit of blow by. So, like I said, it's, it, you know, you're buying a used truck, it's a gamble. When I bought that other gray truck, prices were way less yet. So, just, it's, 
crazy what these prices have done. On the, on the flip side, what I'm getting for my truck that I sold is crazy. It's, it's crazy. So, the other day, I got a little swap going on. And I get more for the truck, but at the end of the day, I do pay more for this truck. And honestly, it's, it's spec'd out nice. Uh, I would probably have spec things a tad different if I was ordering it, but it's not a bad rig. So, deal's done. Is now officially a Flint Creek truck. I gotta get this thing out of here. We're gonna head down the road. While I'm driving down the road, I'm gonna keep my eyes open if there's any silver or off-white colored trucks. See what they got for stripes, if they're getting striping. So if you guys got any questions, drop them in the comments. I'll try to answer them the best I can. So this truck didn't get an oil change, but it has been greased. Uh, brakes, I was looking, and I think they're gonna need some brakes or they're getting down there. What does have me a little bit concerned is the engine blow-by, but at the end of the day, it is what it is. Like I said, we bought trucks that lasted us for years and years. The next one goes right away. One thing that I can be assured of is, so if the engine does go, we put a little money into it, but then we know it's good to go. Uh, we're not gonna have issues of downtime in the shop for 30 days, this and that, so. Morning guys, I'm out here with the truck, stop for the night, and I just want to flip the hood, check over everything, make sure we're good to go. Looks good. So everything looks legit. No uh, oil smears on the engine or I think it's time to start it up. Time to go trucking. So there's something I also forgot to show you guys. I want to show you real quick. Check it out. Under here. So I turned the lights on to check over everything and I was like, oh, you know what, here I can show you. Here's what it looks like. But first off, I think there's a Waffle House down the road, so I'm definitely going there. I got about six hours back, so we're gonna head to Waffle House and then a straight shot back to the shop. We'll see you back there. Welcome back to another beautiful day in New York. We made it back to the shop. Uh, I know more and got back to the shop. They got this truck up in the air and they're plugging away putting a hydraulic oil tank all kinds of good stuff on it making good use of our uh, jack stand so this truck's going to be in the air for a little bit because they're putting on the wet line and i think trevor's gonna go over some of that stuff of what all we're doing to it all right guys we'll see you in the next one peace out <laughs> 